Yo, it's your boy Young Molino, check this shit out man. Yesterday night we saw some league games in the Europa League semi-finals. But when you cut man, the two games in the Europa League yesterday night, they were more entertaining than the Champions League games, you know what I'm saying? Now, the winners from this week, the killers on top of this week's list, is none other than Manchester United. Manchester United slapped Merck and shitted on Roma at Old Trafford. The echoes from the mad night 15 years ago could be heard when Ronaldo and Rooney and Giggs game banged Roma, man. Yesterday, Manchester United became the first team to score 6 goals in a major European semi-final since Real Madrid in May 1966. I know some of y'all will say this is Europa League and that Roma is trash and they got 3 injuries before the first half but nevertheless it was kinda late man. Mind you Roma were leading 2-1 at half time and all they did in the first half team talk is lubricate themselves for the second half, you know what I'm saying? Now if Man United are planning on to get on bigger trophies next season, they really need to keep Pogba and Cavani out here man because yesterday... Cavani, Pogba and Fernandez were really unstoppable. It was like watching a hungry pack of lions feasting on a handicapped zebra fam. The rest of the United team weren't anything special, but those three showed why they are a class above their teammates, man. If Cavani was to leave this summer, y'all, to replace him with a player of the same caliber would cost what? A hundred milli? Y'all tell me, man. Because Edison yesterday, man, he was just lit. Now, moving on, another motherfucker who had a good evening in Spain is Una Emery, man. My guy got one over his former team, Arsenal. And Arsenal at this moment, man, they just can't stop bantering themselves, y'all. I don't know what the supporters must have done to them to make them go through shit like this week in and week out for years. But when the manager you start comes back and starts passing on you, it's just not a great look. But to be honest with y'all, man, Emery will be a little bit disappointed because Villarreal should really have finished Arsenal yesterday night. They missed some really good chances and during a certain point in the game, they were leading 2-0 with Arsenal and men down. But somehow they got a red card themselves and let Arsenal score a goal. Thus giving Arsenal a lifeline. But still man, it's a W for Emery man, you know what I'm saying? He showed Arteta how this shit is done. But anyways man, last but not least, another winner this week is Bernard Leno man. Now I know his team lost, but let's keep a hand on man. If this homie didn't make that crazy save at 2-0, Arsenal would have been finished man. They would have been finished right now man. They just would have been dead out here man. And just maybe man, just maybe and possibly, that could have been Arteta's end as well man. The German literally saved Arsenal's season and possibly their manager with that world class save. And this shit really could be a turning point in this leg, but we'll see man, we'll see next week. Because if Arsenal were really 3-0 down, I think that would have been the end of them man. Now, let's go on the loser side y'all. We ain't gonna let no one slide out here. First and foremost, it gotta be Roma. How can you let yourself be scored 5 goals in 45 minutes in an Europa League semi-final? Like that's shameless man, regardless of the circumstances, you really gotta be spineless and dickless out here to pull out with something like that. And on this matter man, I wanna single out Smalling man. Chris Smalling, man, this homie had a clusterfuck of a night yesterday. He was the most experienced in the Roma defense, but he couldn't organize shit. He was clumsy and he cost Roma a few goals, man. The Cavani tap in, he kept one Bissaka onside. On the Pogba header goal, he failed to mark Paul Pogba, man. And he fucked up Cavani to give a silly penalty, even though I think it was really harsh. Like, bruh, he was, he was just mad, bro. He was moving mad out here. It was as if this motherfucker was still paranoid from last week's robbery that happened on his crib. All in his stuff must be high-fiving each other. That they sold this homie, man. He didn't do himself no justice on his return to Old Trafford, man. Like, damn. And another player who keeps fucking up a lot, man, is Ceballos, man. Now, I don't know what's the deal with Ceballos. Because when you first see him, he looks like a technically gifted player. And you think to yourself, this homie is decent, you know? Last season, he had a solid finish with Arsenal. And that's why he got himself another second loan deal with Arsenal. But this year, he's just been inconsistent. And I have the feeling he wants Arsenal out of the Europa League, man. This amigo is either sabotaging Arsenal Europa League campaign... Or he's just trolling these guys. Against Benefica, th thanks to his clusterfuck and unexplainable mistake, Benefica almost knocked out Arsenal, but Saka was there to save the day. And yesterday, when he was on a yellow card, he goes and does that reckless, maybe hashtag without intention stamp on the app. He knows these referees are useless these days, man. Why give them an opportunity to send you off? You know you have a yellow card. It doesn't make sense, man. The worst part, he does it at the worst time, when Arsenal were chasing the game with two goals down. Damn bruh, sometimes it makes you wonder man if these players are just brain dead out here man. Now Arsenal might still go through next week because 2-1 isn't the worst result like Arteta said in the post-match uh, interview and they really should be thanking Villarreal for their generous offer out here man, like no cap. Last but not least on the loser section is none other than my fucking bar man. Now sometimes I question myself, am I watching the same shit bar is watching? Because that can be it man. I really need an explanation how are those referees in bar watching a replay and still fucking up. Like, I bet wherever they are, they ain't even watching this shit. VAR was supposed to make football less controversial, but so far all it has done is the opposite, man. Every week there's something. Like, no cap, every damn week there's something out here going on. The penalty to Saka, the penalty to Smalling, 
Some might even say the Kapoor red card. All those decisions, man. All those decisions, bruh. Just the Almighty knows how they're given, man. Like, I don't even know what's saying this bitch, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, anyways, United look to have booked their place in the final of this year's Europa League. We're gonna see next week if Villarreal or Arsenal make it. It will be interesting. But it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. It's your boy Young Moly. Like and subscribe. It's lit.